this is easy easy street gaming here with nerve damage we're gonna do a collaboration for the first time in forever uh, this video is on uh, trading trophies for loot basically this is using the archer queen to get trophies um, I was using sables account and I was up in masters 2 and didn't find much for loot up in masters 2 so I wanted to drop down I wanted to drop down anyway so I decided that I was going to use the drop down trophy technique to get as much loot as possible. So we, what we did is we went on a boost for one hour. And I wanted to see exactly what I could come up with after one hour. So looking here, I got two million five. Oh man. <laughs> see how fast that went by? Uh, two, oh, there it is. Two million five hundred in gold. Uh... 2 million something uh, about 2 million in elixir and 68,000 dark elixir so what I want to try to do is I'm, I'm working on walls with her and I had about 2 million in the clan castle so I wanted to try to get up to about 5 million probably get up to gold a little faster because you have to use elixir so the goal is you want to build an army now at this time too I, I might as well say this too at this time too we had the wizard event going on the with right now the wizards were 400 uh, elixir so they were about the same price as an archer so I built a lot of wizards um, built a few giants 14 or 15 giants so I basically had an army just in case I run into a really good base uh, but as you can see me filtering through these bases, what I'm doing is I'm looking for bases that have the dark elixir on the outside of the walls. I'm looking at the actual, um, you know, you can look at the graphics on the elixir and on the gold and on the dark elixir to see how full it is. And I'm trying to find the ones that, ha that are full on the outside and I'm dropping the queen on them, trying to keep the queen out of range of any defenses and then using her ability to quickly you know snag a couple of these um, resource buildings and then moving on to the next base the main goal is to keep the queen alive because I have a, what I did was I boosted the heroes so I'm already spending 10 gems on that um, I boosted the troops that way if I had to use the troops I could still have the back I still have backup troops and I know a lot of people think that the best way um, to make the most of uh, resources is to boost your barracks and build army after army build cheap armies and just go for it but I'm, I'm gonna tell you we we really hit it off by dropping down dropping trophies putting the queen in taking one or two bu resource buildings on the outside and moving on making sure she stays alive the whole time you know easy I haven't really had trouble dropping trophies so I've never gotten high enough where I needed to drop trophies <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, that, uh, some people have that problem. The, the, the issue is is that in Master 1, uh, in Champ 3, Master 1, right in that area, there's a lot of good players. And the players that are up in that area, they build really good bases. And they use their resources well, too. So there's not a, the farming up there sucks. But the best farming is probably in Crystal 2 or Crystal 3. So, you know, you want... I, I've been I, doing good. I've been pretty good this past whole year. Well, in Crystal 3? <laughs> yeah, that's where that's where the most loot is, I think, too. So, but I was up in Masters 2. I just went up to Champs. You know, everyone does this. You'll go up to Champs to get the, the gems, the 2,000 gems. I had done that, I don't know, six months ago. But then stay, I kind of hovered up there. And then as, I, as you stay up there, it gets harder and harder. The players are better. They invade you better. They, they hit you better. Um, I lose more resources to them because they're better players. Uh, so I decided that I, I wanted to drop down. And because I'm working on walls, and by, by dropping down, I was able to, to get a ton of resources doing that. So now, this is, this is, on this raid right here, as I was dropping the queen and dropping the queen, you, you notice I don't even have the king in this raid because I had used the king. The, the king is just uh, an expendable troop and do, using this technique. I just used the king as a shield and I'd already lost him. So he, he was sitting for four or five minutes uh, on the sidelines, but I ran into this base. This base had 300,000 gold, 300,000 elixir, 2,000 dark elixir. So I wanted to go for all, it's all on the outside. So this in this case here, now I'm gonna use some of the troops 
Um, put some giants in as shields for the for the wizards. I'm gonna put a couple wizards in, and again, I'm gonna try to shield the queen. Cause remember, the 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 goal here at all times is to try to save the queen. You don't want the queen to die. If the queen gets hurt and she gets hurt for four or five minutes, that means you're sitting out for four or five minutes uh, without having to use her, or you're gonna have to spend troops and you're gonna filter through bases and drop archers or drop wizards on things. And you know you don't want you you don't want to do that because then you're burning resources to, to get it. Plus, five minutes out of an hour's time is a long time. Yeah, it is. Five minutes doesn't seem like a long time, but when you're sitting there waiting on it, it's a long time. Uh, so that was a good raid. That was three hundred thousand each. Uh, this let me see here. Okay, now I I believe towards the end of the hour, as the hour was starting to come up, I had already burnt through all the troops. So now I I decided that I was going to make uh, a couple armies. And this is what I would suggest too. Um, if you're going to do this drop down, set yourself a goal. My goal was to get down into Crystal crystal 2 or Crystal 3. I had made it all the way down to Crystal 2. It would have been about the 50 minute mark. And at this time, I decided to stop just doing the... Uh, I was making Wizards and Goblins mainly. And, you know, I'd use them as I needed them to try to save on the Queen. And uh, I, so I stopped making them and made a Laloon, which that means I spent, uh, I don't know, seven or eight hundred Dark Elixir and then however much Elixir it took me. And so now I'm going to go on a couple of big raids to kind of finish off the finish off that hour of um, a boost that I had. And I ran into this base. This base was another big base, uh, 300,000 each or more, 3,000 Dark Elixir. Uh, went through it with a Laloon attack. This is a great attack to use farming because this is a war attack too. So it's always good to use uh, uh, your war attacks while you're farming because not only is it uh, are you going to get the whole base and, and you'll run into these big bases. How many times have you run into a big huge loot base and not have the troops for it? I hate that. Okay. So I'd, I'd prefer, oh, whoops, I'd prefer having the troops for it. And that's what I did. At the end at the end of the hour I built the Laloons and uh, Went after this base. This is a, another big score. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how much it was. It was 3,000 Dark Elixir. That's pretty much what I was looking at. Well, the trouble with the loon for me is I end up getting rid of all the defenses, but I don't have anything left to, to get the resources. Yeah, that's uh, that's what everyone does at first. <laughs> Same thing with Hog Riders. All, your, your two um, three-starring troops. <laughs> Nerv, look at the dog. We have this dumb... Great day, and that's been staring at us through the window. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I, that's what a lot of people do. You, you'll you'll take the whole base with your defense only troops, and you'll have all all your all your loot left. When that's happening, bring more minions. That's what I. That's what that's. Don't use them first. <laughs> no, don't use your minions first. Bring more minions as and and so what you'll do is you put your lava hounds in first. You put the balloons in second, and then you'll use your rage spells to push them into the base. And as the as the lava hounds and as the balloons go into the base, put the minions in right behind them, and they'll go into that rage too, and they'll take everything from behind. That's to see the thing about you is, is you see everything strategically before. I get to go in and mess it up royally, and then I see ah, oh, that's what I was supposed to be doing. Yeah, yeah, I think I don't do that. I do that too. Everyone does that, I think. No, you're pretty strategic. Okay, so now this this I think this last one here was I think the boost is not over yet. I have 13 minutes left on it. So I was training up everything else. I uh, requested some troops and it took a few minutes to get it. I believe from Ezekiel. You know who that is? That's nice to donate to yourself. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so now we got a good army. Uh, we're using the. Uh, there's a, a bunch of different names for this particular attack. Uh, I like to call it the Walking Laloon. This is when you use uh, five healers. Uh, you can use either air or ground troops in, in the Pan Castle. I like to use bowlers. And we'll use the five healers and the queen. And then we, uh, as a ground base for the kill squad. And then we use the Laloon second phase. And this is going to be the last attack that I did on this on this uh, on this boost. And if I get a good enough base, this would put me, right now I'm at 4,600,000 gold, 79,000 elixir, so it was pretty, so far it was pretty good. Found a good base right here, 350,000 each, uh, 
2900 Dark Elixir, so that's that's more than enough to go for. And, um, and that covers the all the Dark Elixir. That covers all, yeah, right. I, I mean, when I do this drop down, I'm not really necessarily trying to get just Dark Elixir. I'm going after Elixir. I'm going after everything. But what you want to do though is you do want to put the Queen on top of um, any any Dark um, the Dark Elixir pumps. That's what I'm all, that's what I'm usually looking for. Um, I'm, I, Sable's almost a max nine, so she gets a lot of Town Hall tens, and she gets a bunch of Town Hall elevens when she's farming. And they have uh, just because they're a level above her or two levels above her, she gets more out of those. She gets more of, of a percentage out of out of their bases, so you can get a lot more from those from those bases. So when I run into the tens and elevens, and I put the queen down on the Dark Elixir uh, collector, the pumps. I might get a thousand out of a pump and it doesn't even look like it's full. So that's the goal is you want to put the queen down on a dark elixir pump, hit the rage, take everything out of the pump, keep your fingers crossed. Yeah, I've run into bases where I'll hit six or seven in a row and they'll have over a thousand in, in, in that one pump and I'll just move on. I'm not worried about taking the base. The one thing, I mean, if you're going to take one thing out of this video, the one thing that I am trying to focus on is not letting the queen die. Because if you keep the queen alive, that means you get to fight again, and it's the number of fights you go into. It's the no and and most of the raids that I did, um, I hit for under a hundred thousand um, on gold, under a hundred thousand elixir, and under a thousand elixir. I mean, dark elixir. It doesn't cost, cost you. Anything. It didn't cost me anything most of the time, but I did so many of them. I probably did close to a hundred raids, and so that's why I was able to get so much. And it wasn't a lot of dark, I know that there's other techniques that you can go out and use uh, and get more dark elixir. But to, to be at 68, I think I ended at 85. So I got about 20,000 dark elixir in an hour. But then I also got about two, two and a half million or almost three million gold. It takes me all week to get that. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. To, to use a boost, if you're going to use the gems, uh, I used 40 gems. So, I mean, that's like 40 cents. Or so that's not too bad. It's like buying a Coke uh, in 1987. <laughs> <laughs> 1950. <laughs> 1987 Coke. Uh, for the <coughs> price of a Coke, um, I boosted everything up. Was able to get over 5 million gold, over 4 million. I started off at 2,500, remember? Or 2.5, whatever. Um, so, good technique to use. Um, what do you think, Nerve? Well, I, you know, me not ever having to drop trophies before. I've been in a couple of trophy pushes, but I have I've stayed parked in crystal. Now that I know I've got um, nerve and masters, I can drop and try this technique now. Yeah, yeah. As I, soon as we get off. Yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting for you to try. Video, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> okay, well, hope you guys enjoyed it. If anyone watching still, appreciate you for watching till the end. Um, Got another video coming out here probably tomorrow evening. So uh, thanks everyone. Till next time. This has been easy. This is Nerve.